All right, balancing the equation. This is a favorite in my classroom. My students love this standard. Maybe it's because we have lots of hands-on activities and games we can do to practice balancing equations, but they love it either way. So we're solving each equation to find out if it's true or false, if it's balanced on both sides. So this first equation says five equals three plus two. I always set mine up this way and it is not required but I have taught my students to do that because it just keeps them more organized these little arrows or dashes so this side's already solved five a lot of students make the misconception that they have to solve something on each side so just have them really pay attention to what symbol is coming next the equal sign so they don't have to do anything so on this side I could draw a picture one two three one two five five equals five that is true. They can put a T for true. Moving on to one that is not true. Same way, I'm gonna set up my arrows and my equal sign, carry that equal sign down. We've practiced that a lot. We don't wanna forget that and you'll see why on this one. So four plus four, if I know my doubles facts is eight. If I don't, I can draw a picture. Okay, and then over here, I might draw a picture again. Um, that is a make 10 fact. So I'm going to move this down here so it's a little bit neater and you can see it. 8 equals 10. That's not true. So we have to put a slash through the equal sign. So that means 8 does not equal 10. And then we can put F for false. Okay. Um, here are a couple examples of subtraction and mixed operations. So same thing. Set it up already solved on this side. I'm going to put my 5 there. 9 minus 4. Okay, I'm going to cross out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I find out I have 5 left. It's true. 5 equals 5. Leave my equal sign alone. Make sure my equal sign's there. Here is a mixed operation balancing the equation. So that's why it's really important to remind your child to pay close attention to those symbols. So on this side I'm subtracting, but on the other side I'm adding. So we already did six plus four, and maybe we know our make tens facts, that's 10. Um, for these students should, they don't have to show how they got there. But if it is a problem where the directions say draw a picture and show your answer, then we need to see it. Again, that's just the whole thing of practicing paying attention. So whether they're using a number line or they drew on their whiteboard, if they know that this equals 10 and they're taking their time, it's all right to not show their picture right here. Um, 10 minus 5, again, maybe we know our doubles facts. We know the opposite of five plus five is 10 minus five. So five does not equal 10. So this one is false.